That one just off the rim. Looking for Gary Payton the second. He gets it back, and GP2 throws it down. What's it like to walk around here? People obviously know, like, oh, there's GP2. They know who your dad is. They know the legacy he leaves. I mean, uh, how, do you, how do you take that? I mean, you seem like a pretty cool cat, but uh, just knowing who your dad is, and I know you're your own guy, but uh, how do you play off that? Uh, it's good. Most of the people don't, really don't know because I really don't kind of look like my father, so that's kind of a plus. I can, <laughs> I can just walk around like a normal We have that kid. on record that that's a plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I can walk around like a normal kid, but there's some people that uh, come to the game and they'll spot me. It's like, there's no problem. Everybody's out here friendly, you know, nice, polite, so there's no problem. Game day, you're in there in Gill, and you see, you know, your dad 25 years ago, you guys number retired and whatnot. I mean, that's got to be kind of weird. No, I, I take it more as motivation, you know. To, uh, to go hard on the floor and uh, you know get the job done and try to get a, get a win and uh, get us back to that big stage. So you were at Portland last week. He's there in the front row. What's that playing in front of your dad? What kind of uh, what kind of feedback does he give you? Oh, it's it's, it's great. I I used to back in high school. I didn't I didn't like playing in front of him because he made me nervous and I, I didn't play good. But now as I got older, is I get used to it and it's it's, it's really helpful. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm doing something bad in the game. Of course, he's going to call me over, call my name, and let me know what I can do better. So I take it as a learning standpoint. Yeah, and like your dad, defense first. I mean, that's yeah. really, I mean, you're going to get your points, you're going to get your points, but you got to stop the ball. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that comes. He really doesn't talk much about that because he knows I'm going to defend. So it's more of the offensive standpoint where he tries to help me out and be more aggressive. And growing up with a dad who's an NBA All-Star, I mean, it's not the same childhood that everybody else has. Just talk me through kind of what it was like. Uh, when I was young, I, I really didn't understand who my father was and what he what he uh, was doing at the time. But as I got older, I, I understood and I realized that my dad's a, a pretty good basketball player. And I started to see as I grew up uh, how people in and everything would react to that and to me and treat me and all that. So it's it's a good and a bad out of that, but it's it's crazy. It's a crazy life. Can you beat him in horse yet? I have actually beat him in horse. We played pig one time, so I beat him. So it was only three letters, but I'll take the win. Yeah, you see, let's play horse now, <laughs> yeah. right? That's how that worked. Yeah. <laughs> What's dad like now? I mean, I know he's like a big TV star now, but uh, he seems to have maybe mellowed in his ways a little bit. Yeah, you know, he he uh, he still loves the game, still is around it. So he he's very mellow now. He's got his job at uh, Fox Sports, so he is is going good for him right now. How about the trash talk now? Obviously, your dad was. One of the best, if not the best, trash talkers. Oh yeah, time. he still does that to his time. Yep. Yeah, even if we play cards or anything, we out there in horse, he'll still talk trash. So I, I'm sure that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No time. offense taken though, when he does that. No, right? no, we I, we know it's all fun again. You had to earn your way here to get to a D1 school, man. Spending your time at, at JUCO, what does it mean now to be though at a school like this in Division One in the Pac-12? I mean, this is this is where you ultimately wanted to be. Yeah, it's just you just look back to all the hard work you put in. And everything you did to get here and just it just pays off and you just want to feed off that and keep going see where you can go where do you see this team year one of wayne obviously he's trying to make it on the fly where, where do you see the program kind of reaching new heights i mean obviously the building we're in right now is something new that that craig helped us to, as well man but uh, where do you see this place going uh, i see we, right now we're going to we're heading in a good uh, direction right now we just got to keep up the good work and uh trust trust wayne and the new coaching staff what they're trying to bring to the to the program and uh, it's going good right now. I see ourselves, by the time we get to PACT, I see ourselves being a good competitor in the PACT 12. 